Hey you guys, what's up? Simply Sasha 4 and 4 here and today I have a video for you guys. Of course, duh, because you're watching it, but I'm super excited and I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but I didn't really have enough products and or I haven't really tried out enough products, but today or lately I feel like I've tried out enough products to do this video. So if you haven't already read the title, this is a drugstore starter kit and I'm going to do a high end, but today we're focusing on drugstore. So please excuse my voice and my nose. I am sick, but the videos must go on. So yeah, and I have also a sick makeup hair look coming up. So this is kind of a sneak peek because this is the hair and the makeup. But yeah, so if you're excited to see what drugstore products you should look into or think about getting, whether you're new into makeup or you just want some new drugstore products to look into, then just keep watching. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So first we're going to get started with face stuff. Hopefully this goes in order. So the first thing is a primer. So there's two primers. Well, there's I have two primers here, but I only tried out one of them. The other one I just got and it's brand new, but I've heard lots of good news about good things about it. And so yeah, the first one I'm going to show you is the L'Oreal Revita Lift Miracle Blur. And it just looks like this and it comes in a red bottle and it's by um, L'Oreal. Sorry if the lighting's off on these products. It's just an instant skin smoother. It blurs all your fine lines and all your pores and all that. And it gives a great canvas to applying your makeup. Or you could just wear it by yourself. Especially if like it's a sick day like this. Oh god guys, bear with me because I really don't feel good. I really think it's a sunscreen slash primer because it really does make a nice canvas. I notice a total difference with my makeup when I put this on and I... um blur it blurs everything it makes everything smooth um be careful putting this near your eyes though because it did burn my eyes when i put it on so be careful don't get it near your eyes and the next one i really haven't tried out but i'm really excited to try out and it's the baby skin instant pore eraser um i heard really good um things about this so um, um, um. i heard really good things about this so if you guys want to look up reviews on it you guys i'm sure you guys could um but yeah i'm really excited it's just a clear Silicone, and I like a silicone consistency, which was the Smashbox, which I was obsessed with. I'm still obsessed with. So I'm just really excited to try this out. So the next thing I'm going to jump into is foundation. But there's two. I have a review on one of them. It's a full coverage foundation. It's by NYX. I'll link it down below. I have a review on it. Uh, love it um, for just full coverage, all of that. The next one I want to tell you guys. Oh, where is it? Oh, the next one I want to show you guys is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation. Didn't realize how much I really, really like this until I started using it again, like, last week. Um, I really, really like it. You can see I've been, I've been using it. That's awesome. I love when my products are going down. But anyways, um, yeah, I really like it. It's a 3-in-1. It's with a primer, concealer, built-in. So, it's awesome. It has an SPF of 20 that's crazy. Um, you don't. It has a lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendable of a foundation in one. So this is really great if you don't have time to put on foundation. Like um, I used it today for my sick video. If you're new to makeup, this is a great everyday nice foundation, and it's buildable because you can use it as like a concealer built into it. So I really like this. The next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is a powder, and the one that I've been using, I don't really use. Um, drugstore powders because I can't really find one in my shade so a translucent one that I've been using is the elf high definition powder and it just looks like this and I really really like this it sets my makeup only a little goes a long way it mattifies amazingly and it's just really really nice um yeah I really like it that's that okay so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and move on to is blush and I have two drugstore blush products for you. The first one is by NYX, of course, because I'm obsessed with NYX lately. And this is how their blushes... Oh, no, I dropped one. Okay, so this is how the first one looks. And it's just a NYX blush, and it's in the color Rogue. I mean, Glow. Oh, my God, the sickness. Because, okay. It's in the color Glow, and my sister's, like, sneezing. Um, it just looks like this. It's very nice very creamy very pigmented this is how it looks i really like it i'm not wearing this today but yeah i really like it 
Okay, so now that I picked it up, the next brush is a Revlon blush and it's in the color Charmed Enchantment. And it looks like these, and I think these are newer, or the number 150, and it just looks like this. Um, this one's kind of like a mauve pink. And yeah, these are pretty pigmented too. So, yeah, this is how this one looks. And I really, really like it. So that's that. For blushes, see, pretty simple, pretty easy. Next one is eye primer. Um, oh, I forgot to get it. Let me go grab it. I'm like, this, guys, I'm sick. Again, bear with me. Let me go get it. Okay, so eye primer that I use is the NYX eyeshadow base. And this is in the nude shade, I think. Skin tone shade. And it just looks like this. And this is how this looks. And I use this quite a bit. And I just use this so that my eyeshadow or whatever I'm putting on my eyelids lasts a little bit longer. And I really like this. It has a great staying power. And really, my shadows really last long when I use, when I use it. Again, apologies. Okay, next, I only have one of those. The next thing I have is eyeshadow palettes. So I have two here for you guys, but there's like a ton. But the ones that I recommend are Wet n Wild because they're very affordable. They have nude colors too. I don't know what happened to my nude one. I think I had Walking on Eggshells, which is the one that everybody has. And this one is, I got Good Jeans. And this just has like blue. But it's very, very, very pretty. I really like these colors. Um, and the next one I got is a little bit neutral. And these are the e.l.f. palettes. And these are like a dollar. And these are very pigmented. Here, I'll show you this glitter gray glitter one see and they're very pigmented and it's only a dollar that's like all over my finger now but yeah i really like it okay so the next thing is mascara and i have two mascaras for you guys i have the big eyes mascara with um the falsies which has a brush for your top lashes and your bottom lashes so i really like it because especially for the uh, bottom lashes my bottom lashes are really hard to get so I really like it for that and then the next one is my favorite all-time favorite all-time favorite favorite all-time favorite all-time all-time favorite mascara and it's the great lash loss of lashes now not the regular one it's the loss of lashes and uh, this is how it looks and it has like the little um, heart right here that says lots of lashes and it's just in the pink and gray tube this stuff is amazing. I probably need to get another one. And it has the pine cone shape um, brush. But this stuff, I just love it. I really love it. If I want some more oomph to my uh, mascara when I put something else on, I just add this. And it just gives it the oomph that I love. The next thing is lipstick. And I have two brands to show you guys um, that are my favorite right now. One is Maybelline, okay? Their Vivid's collection, I just I just love. And this one is like my favorite right now out of that line. And I cannot wait for spring and summer so I can rock this because it's so gorgeous. This is the Vivid's um, packaging. And it just looks like this. And this is in the color Fuchsia Flash. So yeah, and then this is how it looks. It's just like this highlighter pink, like neon pink, and I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Ugh. Their thing kind of smells like Play-Doh, but look at that gorgeousness. That is so pretty. Obsessed. Obsessed. So the next ones are the NYX Lip Butters. Just Let's just have a moment of silence for these lip butters because they're amazing. Amazing. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is... Um, Pops and BLS 17. Okay. Amazing. This I'm wearing it today with a gloss over it. But, amazing. I also have this on my cheeks. Love this color. It's like a nude mauve color. So pretty. Swatch it for you guys. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. So pigmented. So creamy. Like, these are the most creamiest lipsticks ever like the lip I mean butter yeah they're really creamy the next one also I got this one first and this is in hunk and BLS 05 and it's just a 
purple, which I love my purples. And I will swatch this one for you too. Like just so creamy. Just ridiculous. Ugh. Love. And then this red one I have not tried on my lips yet, but I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. This is in Big Cherry or BLS 19. And this is how this one looks. I haven't tried it yet, but I will swatch it for you guys. Oh, so pretty. And there's the red. Ugh. Just, they're just gorgeous. I'm obsessed. You guys should really try them out because they're amazing. Last but not least is lip glosses and of course I'm just like a NYX lover today. Okay so they're NYX glosses and the first one is a lip gloss in uh natural and it just looks like this. Very very pretty. Nudie pink. It has a bow and I think they smell like something. Hopefully I can smell it. Oh they kind of smell. Actually they kind of remind me of like a medicine I used to take but this is a swatch of that very pigmented like a paley pink I love um, putting that over lipsticks I feel like are too loud and then the la and then the last one is another NYX but this is a soft matte lip cream and I really love this one I think I'm like into like the pinkies I haven't worn this in a while but I really really love it amazing amazing um so yeah and the last thing I want to tell you guys about is eyeliner and I only have one do I have so the only thing I have is this elf eyeliner and shadow stick. Oh my god. So yeah, the elf shadow eyeliner and shadow stick, which I only use the eyeliner part. I haven't really used the shadow part, but it comes with a shadow part right here. And it's I think it's gray, which is okay, I guess. But I love this um pencil. I love the pencil um retractable eyeliner so you can like twist it up and stuff like that. And it's really dark and I really like it very creamy it doesn't drag on your eyes very black it's very simple love it it goes three dollars so there we go i'll have everything listed down below and hopefully a link to where you can find them also if you sign up um if you sign up a newsletter with nyx you can get 25 percent off your order no i'm not affiliated with them i wish i was but i'm not trust me but i mean it's a great deal you get 25 percent off and i got to try out a lot of their products through that and it's going to make me want to purchase more things from them. And I think I'm going to because their packaging is amazing. And I loved it. Um, it took a little while, but they sent me a notice why it's taking a while. Because of, you know, the snowstorms. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. I'm just trying to, like, get through this video so it's not really long because I'm sick. And I think I tend to blab. And now my camera's telling me, like, you know, the car is filling up. So, I know I've been talking too long. So, yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave comments down below telling me what you liked about this video and what products you're excited to try out or what other drugstore products you guys recommend. Or if you've tried out any one of these products, how did it work for you? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you what? Let me know so we can have a conversation down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe.